What's going on, guys? It is the end of season recap. Week 17, All-Star Week has come and gone, and we've got our results, plus a couple of end of season awards that we'd like to give out, and uh, just some cleanup, you know, family business stuff uh, leading up until next year. So here we go. Let's get into it. First things first, uh, the uh, Week 17 All-Star Game. Um, so we do this a little bit different every year. We haven't quite found a format that everyone loves and agrees upon. Um, I think just recently DraftKings has put out this like export list where we can export their list of players and the salaries and all that kind of stuff, which was very helpful for me because all I did was just hit that, threw it into a Google Sheet and send it to you guys. Um, we had 11 of 12 teams participate in this. Um, so thank you guys so much for your participation. Um, hopefully it was very easy to figure out and do. Um, we use our scoring with the DraftKings salaries, um, which is a little off. It's not perfect, right? Because DraftKings has different scoring, uh, like PPR and some other things. Um, we also, if you notice, I, I changed, uh, the lineup requirements to have it be a little bit more, uh, in line with kind of how, what we do, right? Um, we do five uh, positions, um, uh, no, six positions, and so I kind of changed it to be a little bit more close, you know, closer tailored to that. Um, but regardless, a lot of you guys participated, uh, 11 out of 12 teams, um, and so the results are in. Uh, not surprisingly, um, the Vegas boy, Big Willie, got, got the win. So congratulations, Willie. Um, first place scored 182 points. Um, in case you're curious, as I'm reading this off, uh, the best possible lineup would have netted you 296 points. Um, so kind of gives you an idea of like where it was at. So Willie, great job there, man. Um, well done. Um, so 182 points there. Uh, Zach, the, the number cruncher data scientist, Zach came in second. Uh, with 161 points. Um, the ghost of Steve Largent, John Wilson, um, the, the smartest redhead that I know, he came in third with 156. Uh, I got 143 in fourth place. Chet Casher, another Vegas boy, 143. Uh, Thunder Blender, 129. Um, huge difference from last year. So great job there, Eric, improving. Uh, Tons of Anarchy, our second place uh, Super Bowl uh, contender, 127. Uh, Habanos, uh, the old Vegas, comes in with uh, 126. The Walking Dez, 124. Super Bowl champion Horn Dogs, 100. And the rookie, better than the Jets, at 93. Um, so, yep, Mad Dogs were the only ones who did not participate, Anthony. Um, so that also, one thing I forgot to fail to mention last week, that also gives us our draft order for next year. Um, assuming that you guys all want to play VFL again, right? I mean, Barrett has already said he's in, uh, he's, he's almost, he's already paid me. So, um, yeah, so that assumes your draft order. So next year's draft order will be in, uh, the email that I send this out with. Uh, congratulations, Willie, number one pick and you won 180 bucks, dude. Congrats. So that is week 17 All-Star. Now let's recap the year. Um, I don't know how many of you guys saw the chat from our Super Bowl champion, Horn Dogs, um, but I wanted to read it to you guys because it kind of shows you a little bit of the legacy that is the virtual football league. He said, he's, I started the VFL 37 years ago. This was before websites and having points calculated for us. I had to spend four hours every Monday reading multiple newspapers to get the outcome. He's been in 16 Super Bowls. He's only won four of them, and one of them was with me as his partner when I was 10 years old. Um, he was predicted to come in last place, uh, but really what it came down to was luck. Uh, you guys can read the rest of his chat if you want, but I wanted to focus in on that. He started the VFL 37 years ago. My dad and I joke around that the only thing that I'm going to get when he dies is the VFL. It's, it's his biggest legacy. Um, and it is, it's, it's a great legacy too. Uh, anyone who has seen and held the trophy can admit that it's a fantastic legacy. Um, I remember some of my earliest memories, man, walking downstairs and my dad being at the, 
dining room table with four different newspapers. He had the LA Times, he had the New York Times, he had um, the Daily News, like the, I can't remember what the other one was, um, but he had four different newspapers out there and he's looking at the box scores and he's hand tallying um, the scores for that week. He luckily was a programmer, so he had created a database that he could plug all this stuff into and it would auto calculate the results uh, from team to team. So he, all he had to do was calculate the scores uh, for each player. That included a free agent list. So it was every single player that scored points, um, every kicker, every running back, every returner, um, he had to calculate all of that by hand. Every defense, he had to calculate all of that by hand. Um, you know, we, we joke that he should have started the first um, fantasy football website and, and something that, that he and I lament not ever doing. Um, uh, the funniest part, though, I think, was that he would go through all of this work and he would double check his work. It would take him all day Monday to get all this done so that he could send everything out for Tuesday. Guys would get their packets Tuesday night because he would, he would overnight them. Guys would get their packets Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. They would call and leave voicemails on our answering machine with their, um, their waiver picks um, and it was whichever person called first about the latest and you know, the, the next, the next guy was the one that got it. Um, so it was, it was crazy. Um, uh, the funniest thing about all that though, was that my grandfather would call my dad every single week and tell him that he messed up on the scores for his team. Um, it was <laughs> without a doubt, he would call every single week. Uh, you missed some points for my <laughs> players. It was so funny, man. My dad gets so pissed off. Uh, so that was 37 years ago that all this started, man, and with my dad pouring over the box scores. So it's it's very exciting to see him win um, another Super Bowl. So congrats, Dad. Um, you get the uh, the the commission award, right? I mean, you you are you're the OG, man. So um, congratulations, going from last to first right projected to be the worst scoring team in the league and now here you are started from the bottom now you're here dad um yeah dude <laughs> moving up 11 points um the biggest underachiever would have to be this league is a breeze he was projected to go number one overall at the beginning at, at after the draft um he was projected to win the whole thing and he came in seventh um so i guess habanos could do the same because he was projected to go second and he came in at eighth um, but, uh, yeah, rookie of the year goes to better than the jets. Barrett, uh, Barrett had a draft and started out the season horribly. I mean, just not a good start to fantasy football. Um, and I tried to trade rape that guy so many times. Um, he had Johnu Smith and Darren Waller sitting there and I was just like, just chomping at the bit for one of those guys. And he was like, no, man, no, I, I trust my team. I think they're going to turn it around. I, I, I trust them. Made a few uh, waiver moves, and next thing you know, man, he moved from 11th to 5th. Um, made the playoffs, and just just barely lost in in the first round, man. That was that was a brutal loss. So good job, Barrett. Well done, man. Um, uh, what other things can we can we do here? Let's let's see who who had the most transactions on the season, huh? Let's let's see that transaction counter. Uh, total transactions made. Uh, I think that's me. Yeah. All right. So I guess I, I get that. So most, most indecisive, uh, most inconsistent. That's probably me. Uh, big spender is, is Bill. Cause Bill had me add, uh, over a hundred dollars to his fab through the course of the season. So Bill is definitely the big spender. Um, most, uh, most injured goes to John Wilson used the IR slot 13 times league high 13 times. Um, so definitely the most injured. Um, and other than that, you know, I mean, most consistent has to be check casher. I mean, the guy hasn't finished outside the top three since he started VFL, um, which I think this is your fourth or fifth year now, Chris. Um, that's insane, dude. Like you've, this is like a, this is like an ATM for you. 
It's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit down on the bank account. What should I do? Oh, I'm just going to go do VFL, print some money. Um, so well done there, man. Uh, yep. Those are, those are the, what I got, man. That's, that's what I got for this, the, the end of the year awards. Um, I will be in this email, um, will be the totals, uh, we'll actually be sending it out separately to everyone who owes money still. So you can pay, um, through PayPal. Um, moving forward, we will not be using ESPN cause they are a giant piece of shit. Um, I hate ESPN and I have not heard a single positive thing from any one of you guys about ESPN. Um, everyone has been frustrated with it. So next year we'll be using something called sleeper. Um, it is a new ish, uh, website and mobile application. Um, it's a little bit different to use. Um, it's going to take a little bit of learning from some of you guys, um, to, to kind of figure out where things are and how to use it and stuff like that. I definitely recommend using the desktop version if you're not used to using, um, not used to doing it on mobile. Um, but it's by far the best when it comes to what we can do with it. Um, we have a lot of unique scoring and a lot of unique rules in our league. Um, and, and we're able to do all of those things in sleeper, um, which I'm really excited about. Um, it's, it's, I think just think it's going to be a better choice for us. So, um, you'll be getting an invite, um, this summer for, for that. Uh, if you want to go check it out right now, you're welcome to. Um, I have a league going um, that we used uh, to test it, um, and everyone had high praise for it. So um, I can invite you to that that kind of league uh, if you want to take a look at it and, and see. Uh, just let me know. Uh, you can kind of take a look at it beforehand. But that's what we're going to use next year, Sleeper. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good one. I, I like it a lot. Um, now is the time to be thinking about next year. So... Uh, if there are any rule changes that you guys want to make, any, anything that you think would make this more enjoyable, more challenging, uh, more realistic, more fun, please send them over to me. Um, give me any ideas that you have. Uh, now's the time to start thinking about it while it's fresh in your mind. Um, so please send those over and um, we can flush those out and we can vote on them um, throughout, throughout the, the year. Um, other than that, guys, thank you again for another fantastic season of the VFL, uh, our 37th season. Um, and man, looking forward to, to next year, uh, we'll to see if the horn dog can defend his, his championship. Um, uh, guys, great job this year. Congratulations to everyone and, uh, see you next year.